In this lesson, we'll learn how to work with layers inside of Sketchbook Designer. All right, great. So this is the Lesson 4 Begin file. If you want to open this file up and follow along, feel free. Now remember, all you need to do to open this file is simply go to File and Open, or hit Control o on your keyboard, and browse to the Project Files directory on your computer. So um, with that said, let's talk about the Layer Manager. Now we talked about a couple things in the last lesson. Um, we talked about the different states that the Layer Manager can be in by clicking this button here. And you can see we go to sort of an expanded state that gives us sort of a thumbnail preview of the artwork on on each layer. We can go to sort of a minimal state where it just shows us the currently selected layer in that artwork or we can cl click again and go back to the original state. So uh, we also learned about the layer attributes. Now we looked in specific uh, specifically at the canvas down here but each layer in this file can be clicked on and we can click on that little arrow to the side and access the layer attributes for that selected layer. Now you'll notice that they're a little bit different for layers that are not the canvas. Um, in the case of normal layers we're going to have access to an opacity slider. You can see that that correlates directly with this slider right up here. We have access to blend modes right here. We have access to symmetry, which we're going to be learning about a little bit later in this course. And we can enable color adjustments, things like brightness, contrast, hue, so on and so forth. So a lot of different attributes here at the layer level that we can access for whichever layer that we want to target. Now, we also learned that inside Sketchbook Designer, there are both vector and raster layers. Sketchbook Designer calls those vector layers, like the one I have selected, and paint layers, like this one here. Notice that the toolbar up above changed, the icon did. Now we also inside of this file have a layer folder. And that's right here, titled Sketch. To click, go ahead and click on that, it has a little down arrow because it is expanded. And you'll notice here that the toolbar up at the top changes yet again. Now we have a little folder. And uh, it's actually kind of empty, but the things that are in this toolbar now are things that would apply at the folder level. So, um, But you go ahead and click through here, you can kind of look and see what type of layers this particular document contains. Now, as with other layer-based applications, there's a couple of icons here that probably look sort of familiar. We can actually come through and hide individual layers simply by clicking on the little eyeball icon there. You can kind of peel through this document and see kind of the buildup of layers to that uh, final shoe image. Uh, you can even see that I started down here with sort of a raster sketch. Uh, let me go ahead and hide that and bring our layers back. We can actually come in here and lock the layers as well. Now in locking layers, basically that means we're not going to be able to edit those particular layers. So uh, you can see as I click on these little padlocks, they actually snap to a locked position. So we know visually that those layers are locked and we can't actually edit them. So uh, that's locking and uh, controlling the visibility of your layers. Now um, we can also control the stacking order of our layers. And this may be a little bit different. Uh, over here on the far right hand side, there's a little up and down arrow icon. So this particular document has kind of a base um, layer with colors on it here. So if we wanted to move that to the top of our layer stack, we would just simply click and drag on that little icon. And as I move through the layer stack here, you'll notice that there's a little yellow line that appears wherever I'm dropping this particular layer. So uh, let's drop it all the way up at the top here. You can see it rearranges the artwork in this file. Or we can come down here and drop it inside this layer group. Now with the layer groups, uh, you'll notice if you pay attention to that particular yellow line, it insets just a little bit on the left hand side. That's going to indicate that you're dropping inside of the layer folder here. So uh, if we drop it right there, you can see that base layer went right there above the sketch. Now I'm going to drag that back above vector one here. Now you probably notice that each of my layers are named according to kind of the artwork that's on that layer. Now uh, that's actually something that's really easy to do. We can practice that in this file if we just simply select vector one here. Now vector one contains sort of these clean black vector outlines of the shoe. So let's go ahead and double click on the name and we'll just give that an appropriate name here. We'll just call it outlines just like so. And you can see renaming a layer is just that easy. 
All right, fantastic. So um, now you'll notice that all of my artwork layers inside this document are kind of layered underneath this gray bar that says layer on it. So really the layer manager is split into two different areas. We have layers and then we have masks. Now this particular file doesn't have any masks in it. So uh, if you're not able to find any by simply clicking and looking inside mask. Um, don't be alarmed, there's none in this file. We're actually going to learn about masking a little bit later on in this course. But you can see we can actually come in and collapse both of these two different areas. So uh, let's go ahead and move on. Now we talked about both vector and pixel based layers. It, uh, Sketchbook Designer rather is going to call these two different layers vector layers and paint layers. Now to create these layers, let's just come in here and click on the outlines layer and hold. And what's going to happen is we're going to get this marking menu that comes up. You'll see here that several different icons appear. Now if you're familiar with Sketchbook Pro, then the concept of a marking menu is probably something that you've used before. So um, with this particular uh, tool, all you need to do is click and hold and then drag to the option that you want to utilize. So in this case, you can see that I'm mousing over the new paint layer option here. So if I were to go ahead and create that layer, you'll see that a new paint layer was created above the layer that I had currently selected. And you can see it's named it paint six. Let's go ahead and click on that to bring up a marking menu and we'll delete that layer just simply by mousing over this option here. Now there's other options here. If we mouse to the left you'll see here we can create a new vector layer and then this option here is to create a new layer folder. Now there's other options including clearing the entire contents of a layer or even duplicating a layer. And then if we drag straight down, we can merge the selected layer down in the layer stack and combine it with the layer beneath it. Uh, if we were to mouse over this option here, you'll see that it says it's going to merge all visible layers. Now one thing you need to know when you begin thinking about merging layers together is kind of what happens uh, when you merge pixel and vector layers. So uh, if we mer merge two different paint layers together, that's two pixel based layers, the result is going to be a paint layer, a pixel based layer. If we merge two different vector layers together, on the other hand, the result is going to be a vector layer. Now where you may run into some issues is when you begin trying to merge both paint layers and vector layers together. Um, if you do this, your end result is going to be a paint layer. So um, by doing that, you're going to remove all of the vectors in your artwork. And basically, it's going to flatten that down or rasterize it and turn it into pixels. So you won't have any kind of vector editing capabilities if you merge a paint layer into a vector layer. All right, great. So this is the layer manager inside of Sketchbook Designer. If you'd like to, feel free to experiment with this file some more. Uh, practice reordering layers, renaming layers, and experiment with some of the layer attributes if you'd like. When you come back in the next lesson, we're going to look at how we can use and modify 